and I hope you enjoy it. Let's have prayer, and then we'll start with our program. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to be here. Lord, what a privilege it is to take part in the Great Commission, reaching people at home and abroad. And Lord, I just pray that you bless this week as we give out the angel tree gifts to needy children. And Lord, I pray you'd open up the door for us to be able to share the gospel right here in our own building uh, on Thursday of this week. And then, Lord, I pray that you would bless uh, all over the world as we try to reach lostness, lost people who've never heard the gospel. And, Lord, I pray that we'd give uh, like never before to be able to help see that happen in a lot of different places. Bless our choir as they present the gospel and song today. In Jesus' name, amen. Receive her king. Welcome. 
Welcome to our celebration of Christmas. As once again, we share the story that never grows old. The story of God's love and the birth of our Savior. Throughout the ages, the story has been recounted in song and sung over and over again with great rejoicing. It all happened on a silent, holy night in a little town of Bethlehem. There, in a manger, a baby was born, the Christ child. And in that moment, heaven's light came breaking through the darkness as a heavenly host sang it out for all to hear. A message of glory to God, peace on earth, and joy to the world. 2,000 years later, that song is still alive in our hearts. And now we sing its message as clearly as the shepherds did on that first Christmas day.
Now they were in the same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. God. 
So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Now let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Good 
see a great light, longing to see their promised Savior. Come thou long expected Jesus, come to set thy people free, hope of all the earth thou art. That night in Bethlehem the promise would be fulfilled, for this was the dawn of hope, the moment of Mary's greatest joy. Come and see a child born, a son given, and a baby cries but hope was awakened.
lift come and worship and adore age to age forevermore come and adore come and adore worship truth is that from the very beginning when Adam and Eve were created and then they sinned there was a world that lay in darkness year after year and day after day the prophets came on the scene and predicted Messiah will come and all through the Old Testament time after time and book after book was prophesied that Messiah will come Yet the world lay in darkness. You go all the way to the end of the Old Testament and there's a period of about 400 years when you didn't hear anything from God. The period between the Old Testament and the New Testament. A time of darkness and a time of silence. And then as the New Testament begins and the Gospels were written and those things took place, Hope did awake in Bethlehem when God sent His Son Jesus to come to this earth for you and for me. When you think about it, Christmas is a beautiful time of year. But I'm personally glad that Jesus didn't stay in the manger. He didn't stay as a little, little baby, but He grew up. And there came a time after 33 years that John the Baptist stood in the wilderness and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And now that man who was born as a little baby came walking up and the Son of God appeared. You know, if all you get from the story is that Jesus came as a little baby You've missed the story because hope did awake on that day. And it didn't just awake then, but it's come all the way to where we are today. You know, the Bible says that all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, we stand guilty before a holy God. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
because of your sin and because of my sin, we stand guilty before God. And our sin has to be paid for. Either one day we'll pay for our sin in an eternity in hell, or we allow what Jesus did to pay for our sin for us. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, but he lived a perfect life. He went a whole lifetime without sinning even one time. And then God brought about his plan where Jesus would go to the cross one day. They would nail him, the supreme sacrifice that was needed for your sin and for my sin, nail him to the cross. And he died that day, not for his own sin because he didn't have any, but he died for your sin and for my sin. Yes, hope did awake, and it brings hope to us today. If you're here today and you don't know Jesus as your Savior, I urge you today, don't miss what the Christmas story is all about. It's that he came to die in your place, and he came to pay for your sin penalty, and he took your death upon himself. But you see, there's even more to the story than that. Because our all-powerful God made a way for us to come, confess our sins, to invite Jesus into our heart, and for him to be our Lord and Savior. And the Scripture says if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. And then it says, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You see, Jesus did die on the cross. They buried him. But glory to his name, he didn't stay in the tomb. He came to life, and he did that to give life to all of us. Today, if you're here and you've never trusted Jesus, you've never invited him into your life, never asked him to forgive your sins, I want to give you an opportunity to do that right where you are today. I want to ask everyone just to bow your heads if you would. Today, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, whether you're sitting up in the balcony or you're here on the main floor or maybe even listening by way of radio, traveling down the road, or maybe watching online, if you don't know Jesus, right now, according to the Scriptures, if you'd call out to the Lord, ask forgiveness of your sin and invite Him into your heart, He would save you today. And that hope would awake not just in Bethlehem, but it would awake in your heart and in your life. If you'd like to trust him, I'm going to pray just a moment. I'm going to pray a prayer out loud. And you can pray this prayer silently from your heart. Maybe right where you're sitting or maybe even driving down the road, you could utter this prayer to the Lord. Would you pray along with me if you've never been saved? Dear Lord Jesus, I come to ask forgiveness of my sin today. Lord, please forgive me. Come into my heart. Save me today. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. You can look this way. Today, if you invited the Lord into your heart right where you're sitting, I want you to know the Christian faith has never been something that you receive Jesus and keep that to yourself. But you're not ashamed of that decision. In the pew in front of you today, we're not going to do a come forward invitation, but pew in front of you, you'll find a card just like this. And on the back of that card, the front side gives you a place to put your name. The back side says, I would like to give my life to Jesus. If you just did that, I would ask you to check that little box and after the service, I'm going to be in the lobby to your right. And if you just bring that card and give it to me, I'd love to talk with you about that decision. Or maybe you've already trusted the Lord as your Savior and you've never been baptized and you'd like to be. There's a place for you to mark that on there. Or maybe you'd like to become part of Sardis Baptist Church. You can mark that and, and bring it by. The most important thing is that you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And don't just let hope awake 
in Bethlehem, but let hope awake in your heart and in your life today.
Amen. Let all the faithful come. Come worship and adore him. Worship joyfully and sing in exultation. Sing glory to God in the highest. Heavens and rejoice with exceeding great joy. choir member and brother Shannon all of our choir let's give them another big hand of appreciation and also we want to thank Miss Kim upstairs and brother Charles and all that helped up there uh, this doesn't happen if that doesn't happen okay so thank y'all for that and brother Terry you come this morning From the heart of our choir, Jennifer, come up, please. I don't know if all of y'all know it, but this is a team. Although we see Shannon, Jennifer works just as hard in the background, and so. Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank you, Eddie. <laughs> all right, thank you, and uh, Sardis Babies, just want to say to you, we are a blessed congregation. A lot of talent God has put here and uh, brought together a great team. and we're, we're blessed. Don't ever take that for granted. We're going to dismiss in just a moment. Don't forget, we've got 20 angel tree names. Somebody needs to help us out with those this morning down that hall and around. And uh, we're going to have a great week. And you just pray for us. These are busy days. And just pray for us as all the events of the week take place. Who's our deacon today? All right, come have our prayer, Brother Luke. Let's pray. And Lord, thank you for this wonderful program about your one and only Savior. Let us remain bold in telling the lost world about our Savior. 
Watch over and keep us safe. Amen.